Welcome back guys and welcome back to Missouri. It's a 14 degree, 12 degrees now. I do want to, uh, means we've been doing a lot of work in my shop, I would like to take you on a tour of the outside and the inside of my shop. Uh, it's, I built that here about six months ago. It is a 16 by 40 portable building. And the reason I built it portable was because of a uh, where we are at now i'm not sure if we're going to stay there or where that building is actually going to end up we may actually want to move it it is uh but it is the biggest building that you can actually haul on a trailer um, on one of them shed trailers uh, so that's why i built it that way i put the joists on uh, one foot centers so you can you can uh, pull a truck or jeep or whatever up in there that was kind of my goal i wanted a garage but i wasn't sure what i wanted so so we went with the weather's been nasty so we haven't really been doing much i do want to get some stuff tackled and probably pretty hard uh tackle it pretty hard this this spring got several things i want to do to the jeep especially my truck is kind of uh kind of in limbo at the moment because i've done so much to it that it's uh it really needs it really needs some attention some other places i need to do some body work painting stuff like that i like to color match some stuff so a lot of that stuff's just gonna have to wait till the weather's just a little bit nicer before we can do um, so but the jeep some of the things we can do with it i can i can do that stuff in the shop but that stuff is just gonna have to come with time so that's why we're gonna be doing a tour of the shop today just to show you what i'm doing and where i work when i do work on my stuff I think it would be interesting to some of you guys because you uh, maybe some of you are looking for something like that. It's pretty cheap to build. Myself, I'm pretty. I'm. I haven't worked in construction, but I've done that kind of stuff my whole life when I was younger with my dad. Built barns and stuff like that. So it was an easy project to tackle. I saved a lot of money, and that kind of goes with the uh, the theme for this this channel. 
you could save that money, you can get you a workshop, easy. Mine happens to be heated and cooled because my father-in-law is a heat and air man, so I can, uh, I can get a hold of that stuff for cheap. So that is why mine is heat and cooled. But if I didn't have that option, it would have a wood stove or something in it to keep me warm through the winter. So um, yeah, we'll take you back tonight whenever we get back from work and give you the tour. See you then. What is up guys? We're back at the homestead here. There she is, 16 by 40, portable building. Built this about six months ago myself. We stuck a nine by eight garage door, insulated garage door in the front of this thing. It's oversized from a nine by seven so we can fit our truck in there a little bit easier. Uh, not, Jeep, not so much, but the truck definitely. Um, got some LED lighting on it. Already got the lights turned on for the night. The truck's sitting out tonight. Um, basically, this thing's got lifetime metal on it. So I didn't hold back as far as the uh, material that went into this thing. As you can see, it's pretty good size, 16 by 40. It's it's a uh, like I said, the biggest you can take. You can build a portable building legally and haul it haul it on the road because it's on skids so while we're over here too i'll show you my carport so we got just to keep some of the other stuff out of the weather the new holland tractor keep the lawnmower in there um keep the trailers out back here a couple trailers we use a few vinyl windows these are our three by three symington vinyl windows this thing's got nine foot side walls, nine foot studs. There's another three to three around back. We do have it heated and cooled, as you know. And there's our propane that we heat it with. And on the other side here. A few more vinyl windows. Our 3 0 entry door with blinds in the glass. So. It's about all I got on the outside. I do have a TV antenna up there. We do have antenna TV in our shop. So um, yeah, future plans, we're, we're gonna skirt this thing, get a little bit of metal to skirt it. Um, so it's about all we're gonna do on the outside, obviously. Stuff on the inside will change as we uh, take on more projects and we may need more things, more tools, stuff like that. So we'll be doing a lot of building, a lot of stuff like that. So. Uh, yeah that's it there she is we'll go on the inside it's a little bit warmer in there what's up guys we're back in the shop this is the entry door that we just were talking about outside so here's the first area we're going to start in it started out as a grooming area for dogs you can see our tub here we got a few things we use to groom the dogs uh, but now it has turned into a pen for our breeding dogs. Uh, we're planning to build another uh, building for the breeding dogs. Just gonna have a couple of them. We breed Frenchies. Um, so this is the first area. And as you can see, we're gonna keep this wash tub in here just so we have somewhere to wash our dogs. Uh, water heater. Got hot water throughout the shop. Um, and obviously, here's our return air vents. Got our thermostat for our uh, unit out there. Uh, not much to see in here other than that. And yes, we do have the dog running around with us in here, so they're going to be keeping us company. So, got a little desk, TV set up here. Got a wire run through, up and through the ceiling uh, for the cable. It goes up to the top. So, We'll move into the next area here. This is the area you've seen more, most often. Um, here's my shop. If some of you haven't seen it. As you can see, it's kind of tight in some spots. But we've got plenty of room to work. We'll start up here. Got the loft area above our, uh, above our grooming uh, slash breeding dog area. It's where I keep a lot of, um, I got the weed eaters up there, chainsaw, a lot of different stuff that just, if you set it on the floor, it's just in the way. 
So I'd like to set it up there, get it out of the way. I built this box. This is actually where the inside of this unit is, the heating air unit. Um, so I built this box to kind of uh, hide all that, kind of play a dual role. And I'm gonna close this door so these guys can play here. It was kind of a dual role. Uh, I wanted a box here to cover all that up. And then I needed, uh, because of the way these trusses are on this building, I needed something to get on top of to get up in there uh, comfortably without having to lean over all this other crap and get on the workbench and stuff like that. I just didn't want to do that. So that is actually something that you can put your weight on. I built a frame out of two befores and then sheeted around it. So it's plenty strong, got integrity so you can get up in there. So here we are. We'll move over to the workbench area. This is probably the most interesting area here, I think. I uh, have this uh, workbench area. Got a little refrigerator under there. Keep my miter saw, all my DeWalt tools, uh, socket sets, different stuff is under there. I keep nails and screws, all kinds of stuff down there. I've um, got our drill press up here. I just set that up the other day. I had that given to me. Um, the only thing it was missing, it was actually missing the base, but we're gonna try to rig up something for that, for that so we have a drill press. Got a really deep workbench area here. This nice 45 we made out of a made out of this workbench. I thought if I didn't do that, it was uh, just wasted space. So that's our workbench area. Mini fridge. I already went over that. Got a toolbox over here. You'll see um, our windows. I put in some blinds, trimmed around the windows. Just to kind of dress it up, uh, this OSB, when you put it on the wall, cut the edge, the edge just didn't look very nice. So put a little trim on the windows, hung some blinds. That way when we're working in here of a night, have a little bit of privacy. I kind of like that. So um, as you can see, most of the time we keep the Jeep in here just because of the area we've got. Yes, we can put the truck in here. The truck does fit in here, as you know. You've watched my other videos, the truck fits in here. But um, part of my problem is this right here. So this chair come out of the house, this uh, recliner here. And we were gonna throw it away. It wasn't really in bad shape, but she got a new chair. So we were going to get rid of it. And I have a problem letting things go. So it's in the shop now. I think it's perfect. Sit here and chill, watch TV, get a few drinks, you know, whatever stay in here stay nice and cool or warm in this case so wrap that chair got a chair here so we're set up we're good um moving on got a shelf for all of our different oils additives uh different uh remodeling type stuff cockings cocking guns all that kind of stuff we keep down here um Right beside it, I got a channel lock box. I keep all my deer hunting, turkey hunting stuff in here just to kind of keep it out of sight, out of mind, so we can so stay safe in that box. Uh, oh, and on top of this, we keep our spray paints, different uh, stuff like that. I got some PB blaster stuff, you know, things like that. Color match paint for the uh, truck and the Jeep. And elephant in the room here. I've got my Raptor in here. My carport outside, I've actually got metal to close in the sides of that carport. So once I get that closed in and it's a little more weatherproof, that Raptor is going to be going out there. So we're going to free up a little bit of space in here to have some room to work. I wasn't planning on it coming in here, but I really didn't have, I didn't want it to sit out. I really didn't want it to sit out there getting any kind of weather. So it's in here for now. It, uh, you'll see more out of it this spring and summer. We'll get it out, do some riding. Uh, but anyway, so it's in here for now. Moving on, got our car detailing shelf here. We keep all of our stuff here to clean our Jeep, truck, uh, whatever it may be. Uh, keep all that, all the cleaners. These are just generic cleaners. I don't. I don't get really at this point in time, I'm not getting really uh, into certain brands. I've been kind of just testing over the last little while, testing some different cleaners. I've obviously got the armor all that I always get for Christmas, you know, stuff like that. 
Megalers, we're using a little bit of that, trying it out. Um, got some turtle wax detailing stuff here. So, in the future, I would like to uh, do a little bit more of that to see if we can uh, find a reputable brand. I've got a few of them in mind, Jack's Wax, stuff like that. So, we might try some of that out, and that may be some reviews we do here on this channel. So, uh, stay tuned for that. So cleaners, we got our shop back here our jack we've got a pittsburgh three ton floor jack that we use i got a few jack stands keep all my extension cords over here got the brooms whatever you may need put this into perspective the kind of room that we have that we have when the jeep's in here so as you can see when we put the truck in here that space is very limited. It's very close to the garage door and it gets pretty close up there in our lounge area. So that's why our Jeep sits in here most of the time, keep it out of the weather. Not necessarily because that'd be what I would choose because it fits in the carport better too, but because of the space we have in the shop and we're in the shop more often, we keep it in here. Um, over here, so our water, hot water, cold water, I run to a sink. Can't have a shop without a sink. I got a sink and some uh, Dawn dish soap. That is the best grease remover ever. Uh, so, I figured we we're gonna be getting our hands dirty in here. We need somewhere to wash our hands. So, hooked up a sink, got a drain hooked up underneath the uh, building going out the back. Um, so, yeah, got your sink. My gun cabinet's in here just because I don't have enough room in the house. That's kind of where it ended up in here. So, you know, we won't open that up. Got a uh, power washer. I just actually picked up this Generac power washer. I got it for Christmas uh, this last year, this last uh, Christmas. So, I have fired it up one time because the weather has been so bad, it's not worth cleaning your vehicle at the moment. And if I do, I'd rather just run to the car wash down the street and stop there, blow it off, and get on down the road. So, a few more, a few other things. We keep a couple freezers. Got some meat out here in these freezers. Not necessarily what I wanted in the shop, but what are you doing? liquidate those get these out of here I, I gotta clear up some room this was just kind of a catch-all whenever we finally got it dried in uh, so that's where those ended up just a hint here uh, you'll have to find out in the next video but I've got a spot cleared out here there is something going right here take a guess as to what it might be it has something to do with our next few videos and uh, our future as to what we're going to be doing right here in this shop so take a guess as what that might be i can tell you that we will be moving the power washer out of here and moving these freezers down so it's about the same size as this freezer take a guess see what you think let me know you get it right more props to you i won't reveal the secret you'll have to view the next couple videos it'll come into play but we're going to clean that up over there get some of that stuff moved out so we can make room for it so Moving on, got some Amazon LED lights. No, that light, yeah, that light is not out. I shut it off because the glare for the TV. I have more lighting up there on the top side, but I keep it turned off because it's just the loft area. So LED lighting. I wanted to be sure that we had plenty of light in our shop. So when we do work here, we don't have any trouble seeing, which we don't. So... That's most of what we've got in here. Obviously, the obvious things. Sheeted with OSB all the way around. Uh, scissor trust. Metal on the ceiling. Gives us the most headroom possible for this thing. I wanted to, I wanted to do it right. I want, when I built this thing, I wanted it right. That way I didn't come back later and regret it. I knew I wanted some sort of a storage area. I didn't want that crap down here on the ground in my way. So that is why we built this thing the way we did. Nine foot sidewalls so we can use eight foot studs into that room. Giving us a one foot loft. 
more than a one foot loft because of the scissor truss of storage above that area. You guys let me know what you think. What would you do different? Something you would do different? I don't know. I'm really actually very pleased with this thing and how it's turned out. Because before, and I wasn't really into YouTubing when I was doing that stuff outside, but I was doing that stuff outside in the driveway. You know, or out in the yard, in the flattest part of the yard you could find. That's just not, for one thing, it's a safety concern. You don't have the flat surface of a floor here where you could work. Uh, put a jet, Try to put a jack stand in a driveway. It's not really the safest thing. You can't trust that if you tear into a project and you come back to it tomorrow, that the weather's going to be sent the same. So that is why I wanted to do something. I didn't have the money to buy a shop. These things you can buy... Right down the road, there's a dealer. They wanted money for it. And they wanted, I mean, a decent amount for it. I'm not going to say it was it was a expensive amount. It was expensive, but I don't think they were out of line. I think for what you get here, that's what it's worth. I built it myself because I work at a lumberyard. I have the, I have the skills. I have the connections to do this. That's why I did it myself. You may have a different situation, so I don't blame you if you go out and buy one of these things. That's perfectly okay. Whatever you think works best for you. But I wanted something to where I could work on my projects. I had somewhere to take things and put it on a workbench and work on it rather than the tailgate of the truck. I wanted somewhere where I could keep my paints to keep them climate controlled so they didn't have to sit inside the kitchen cabinet inside the house where when it got cold they didn't go bad. So guys if you enjoyed this video if you want to see more of our shop more projects we got going please like and subscribe. You won't be able to see what we're going to accomplish if you don't like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell that way you know when we upload. So next video, we're going to be looking at what we got going on over there. We'll be kind of hooking that up, getting that set up for the next phase of our projects. Uh, we're also going to be looking at tearing into the front end of this Jeep. Uh, got to do a little bit of work onto it, get it ready for our lift that we're going to be doing to it. So we'll see you next time. Thanks again, guys. Just a bit, just a bit. Go, 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 go.